Hello, Advent friends. The devotional I've chosen for today, Tuesday, May the 12th, is an excerpt from one that was published April the 30th in the Forward Day by Day devotional book. Perhaps you recognize the letters WWJD. What would Jesus do? These letters serve as a reminder to us that we should consider how our Lord would respond to a situation so that we might try to follow his example. What would Jesus do? That question is one most often used in efforts to avoid making poor decisions or to avoid doing things that would be dishonoring to God or when we see someone in need. These words remind us not to be selfish, but to try to be like Christ in any given situation. We may use these words to help us to become more like Christ. But how far do these words take us? We may consider what Jesus would do if he were in a given situation. But even as the Spirit of Christ dwells in us, we should consider what he still wants to do, not just what he would do. When Jesus walked among us, he tireless, tirelessly gave of himself, his time and his energy, and invested himself into people so that people might come to know the love of the Father through him. He denied himself for our benefit. And now it's our turn to follow his example. We might want to consider that in addition to saying, what would Jesus do? We might want to say, what would Jesus do through me? What could Jesus do through me? As we allow him to live through us, he is more than just an example for us to follow. He is the one who will lead us from within. In presiding Bishop Michael Curry's Word to the Church published last week, he asked the question, what would love do? He refers to love as being the rubric of the Christian life, the rule, the guideline. He reminds us that Jesus tells us things like, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do unto others as you would have them do unto you as you did to the least of these who are members of my family, you have done to me. Father, forgive. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus makes it abundantly clear that the way of unselfish, sacrificial, love, love that seeks the good and the well-being of others as well as the self, that love is the rubric of the Christian life. Today, like Peter and the disciples after the death of Jesus, we must discern a new reality. COVID-19 has left us disoriented, uncertain, confused, afraid of what we know, and anxious about what we don't know. Our old life has been upended and we hunger for its return. But we can't go back. None of us can go back. We must move forward. We don't know for sure what the future will be and we're called to be creative, to risk, to love. We are called to ask, what would unselfish sacrificial love do? The answer to this question will be different for each one of us. With God's help, we will be given wisdom and strength to face the future. One thing is for sure, we are not alone and we are loved. <music>